Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And it's time for another course play tutorial for you. And today, we're going to cover auto stacking of square bales. How do you collect these up? And uh, not only how to collect them, but how to deliver those to where you want them uh, stacked. So we're going to cover both of those today. Now, if you haven't gone back and viewed... Uh, the tutorials on how to create bales or how to win row, I highly suggest you do that, especially the win row, uh, because uh, the course that we use for the win row is the course that we use to create the bales, and that is the course that we use to follow with the auto stacker uh, so that we can pick up the bales and then we take them off. So please watch that. I'm not going to cover that in this how to create the course. What we are going to cover is... Uh, you know how to set up to auto to collect the bales with the auto stacker and we're also going to have so set up a delivery course so that once you have collected and you filled up the trailer how you take those and deliver them somewhere and so let's get started the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the course to deliver our bales to where we want those uh, stacked now you could always just have them stacked in the field and um, you know as your auto stacker runs around the field you've got it automated if you don't set up an alternative course for it to deliver it will just stack them right in the middle of the field where it fills up um, that's kind of okay if you want to come back behind with a telehandler and a trailer and load everything up and then take it to wherever you're gonna put your bills but a much easier solution is to go ahead and set it up to say when you get full drive this course and deliver them to a said location and that's what we're going to do right now so i'm going to drop off the trailer for recording this course it just makes it easier and we're going to go into course play we're going to come to our course play controls and we're just going to record a simple course and this is going to be the course we'll follow with a full trailer to unload our bales and for me uh, that's here on our dairy farm just on the opposite side of uh, where our field is so I'm just gonna record a course and uh, keep in mind you'll have a trailer on so you will want to swing out wide so your trailer doesn't grab onto any fence or anything else like that somebody speaks from experience I have done that in the past so make sure that you do swing out and give yourself plenty of room and then you can come back over here to where you're gonna drop your bales at and that's going to be this location here for us because this is where, as you can see, I have lots of bales stacked up inside. I'm going to put a wait point here, which is going to be a uh, the little P. It tells that this is where it wants to unload the bales. Now, you can do really complicated courses with this. You can back it into a location. But I'm going to make this simple and we're just going to make a simple unload point here where the bales will be unloaded and then I would have a uh, telehandler sitting here and as they unloaded I would go ahead and move them out of the way um, and let the uh, the auto stacker go ahead and continue to bring bales to me so once you've set that waypoint we just finish up our course taking us back uh, into the field so that we continue to um, do our auto stacking and this will be good for us right here uh, that's a good endpoint and we'll go ahead and save this course I'm just gonna save this as uh, field 40 auto stack and I'll say square bales because it would be you know a little different for round bales not really you could use the same course all right, so we're going to come back over here. We're going to hook up to our trailer. Now that we have that course recorded, uh, we'll hook up and we'll be able to uh, do the whole process. So let's back up to our trailer, connect. All right, now in course play, we're going to set this up for real and get it going. We'll clear out the course that we just recorded because we'll add that at the end. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to bring up my little globe here, which is manage courses. And under field 40, I need to put my uh, course I just recorded at field 40 auto squirt. I'm going to move that up and put it in my field 40 subfolder so all of it's together. 
All right, so to do this, we're going to recall the course that we saved when we did our wind row, because that's the course we followed with our baler. It's the course we're going to follow now to go ahead and collect our, our bales. So we'll go in here, field 40, the 12 meter northeast uh, starting corner going south, one head row. That's the course that we actually used. So we bring that up. And then for the course to deliver the bales, we're going to add on the auto stack square and I'm just going to hit the solid folder. It adds that in. And now the one thing I need to go in and change is under my course generation where it says return to first point, I want to activate that. Now what is that going to do? That's going to tell my tractor that when you get out here into the field and you get full, instead of going to the end point and then coming to the course for delivery it's going to tell it just to turn and come back to the beginning of the course and then get on the course to go delivery why is that important if you go to the end of the course you're going to drive through the part of the field that still has bales in it by coming back to the beginning of the course you're driving through the part of the field that has already had the bales collected and therefore you won't run over anything so just keep that in mind okay so the next thing that we have to do is we have to actually drive our course and before we do that, we have to keep in mind that our collector, and we activate it, keep in mind that our collector is offset to the side of our tractor. So we need to compensate for that as we're going to be going through the field. And the way we do that is we come over into our uh, driving settings, and you'll see tool offset horizontal. So since our tool is 2.5 meters off to the right of our tractor, we need to adjust our tractor to drive 2.5 meters to the left of the course. That way it will center the tool underneath the actual path where the bales are going to be. So to do that, we just come under the tool offset horizontal and we tell the tractor to move 2.5 meters to the left. And by doing that, our tractor will now follow the course 2.5 meters offset left putting our tool directly underneath so how's that gonna look let's uh, jump out a little bit now I've already collected some bales I'm just going to resume course right here and that way we can go ahead on up and uh, collect these uh, bales for you so we're gonna go here to our course play drive control I'm gonna come on up here and get underneath this Remembering I'm 2.5 meters off to the left of the course. I'm going to start at my nearest waypoint. Now, if you were doing this, you would start at the very first point of the course. But I'm just going to pick up here because I've already done the first part of it to save us a little time. And I'm going to have it drive course. And as you can see, the, tra the, the tractor is offset to the side, but the tool is following the course. And it picks up the bale cool thing about course play is now when it gets a full trailer like that it will stop and not keep driving until the tool is reset and ready to pick up the next hay bale or grass bale or straw bale whatever it may be so it picks up that one and we'll run around it'll pick up one more bale filling the trailer up and then it is going to uh, take us to unload And again, as you notice, the tractor stays offset 2.5 meters to the left, allowing the tool to follow the actual course where the bales are. So it's going to come in. It's going to load that up. And we're going to go and collect two more bales and we'll be done. All right, it'll make its turn, and then when we collect that last bale, course play is going to realize that the trailer is full, and it's going to say, hey, we need to go deliveries over to uh, the path that is laid out for delivery. So it will remember where this last bale was picked up. It will mark this point in the course to recall to come back to, and then it will drive over here to the course that we laid out for delivery. And it's going to drive that now. And see how it came back to the beginning of the course? 
rather than go to the end of the course. It picks up this one. It will drive. We'll head over to where I have all the hay bales stored. And it will set those up. And see how by making that nice wide turn, I didn't hit the telephone pole with the trailer. Keep things like that in consideration when you lay out your course. Alright, so it's going to come over here, and when it hits the waypoint, it's going to uh, actually go through its process of unloading the bales, and it will set them right here. So now if you're doing a really large field, and you're going to have a couple of trailer loads of bales, what you want to keep in mind is, at this point, those bales are going to be in the way for the next time it comes through. So you've got to move those as soon as it unloads. So what's nice with this automation is if you are doing a really large field you can send this guy on out into the field while you take the telehandler or whatever forklift you're using and unload those stack them either move them to the side or go ahead and stack them in the barn either way they're there you've got to get them out of the way so when this guy comes back with his next trailer load you've got those positioned out of the way so he doesn't run over them So he runs back to the field and we'll pick up where we left off and all is good. And that my friends is how you use course play to automate your auto stacking and deliver them to where you want your bales to be delivered. As you see it'll make a turn right here, reposition itself on its course and it will continue to work the field and collect the rest of the bales. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have found it helpful and useful in your gameplay. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And of course, check out our course play tutorial playlist where I have tutorials on the entire process of making, cutting the grass, teetering the grass, windrowing it, baling it, collecting it. All of that is there for you inside the course play tutorials. I'm Mr. Moose. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And until the next time, stay safe, have a great day, and I will see you in our next video coming up tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.